In the past month, I've been talking with the 10 men who will be ordained tomorrow at the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph. I've learned that God calls men with many different skills and talents to serve His church in different ways. Some with previous careers who want to use what they've experienced living in the world to serve the church. As I sat down to interview Deacon Mark Matthias, I found out that for him, being asked the questions was a role reversal. I did exactly what you're doing now. I worked in radio, TV, and film. I worked in cable, I worked in radio, I worked in broadcasting. Deacon Mark has been working in media for decades, and he still remains active. He hosts a website called The Jesus Peace with the goal of helping others to deepen their understanding of Christ. He says that there are strong similarities between the priesthood and media work. You're telling a story when you think about it, um, and that's what media does. Mm -hmm. And so there's a part of me that wants to tell a story or to inform, and what I'm basically doing is changing the subject matter mm -hmm. to complement what I find most interesting. To me, there's nothing more interesting to talk about than Christ Jesus, the man. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is using my uh, mm -hmm. experience and gifts and talents uh, that were honed in one area and offering them to the church in another. Just as Deacon Mark is leaving behind his media career, his classmate, Deacon Nick Kolalela, is leaving behind his own career dreams. He attended Xavier High School with the intention of entering the military, but it was there that he found God's true plan for his life. Uh, in one of the classrooms, there, was, there were posters of the life of St. Ignatius, and St. Ignatius was a soldier. And uh, one of the images was uh, of St. Ignatius, and he was laying down his armor in front of the statue of Our Lady. And for some reason, that really spoke to me. And at that moment, I figured that God was calling me to something greater, to lay down my, my life, my armor, if you will, and to pursue uh, something for God and His church. Though Deacon Nick is laying down his career aspirations, he says he is taking up a greater calling. He wants most to be a humble, holy priest for Christ, and again draws inspiration from stories of soldiers, the soldiers in the Bible who, at the foot of the cross, cast lots for Christ's seamless garment, traditionally a symbol of priesthood. It's interesting because the word for lot is kleros, where we get the word cleric from. So in a way, to be a humble priest means to be wholesome, to throw yourself fully for that precious priestly garment that you can't break apart, but you have to take the whole thing on you. Tomorrow, years of preparation will pay off as Deacon Nick and Deacon Mark are ordained. Be sure to keep them in your prayers, along with their eight classmates, Deacons Chris, Jose, and Daniel, Deacons John, Lucas, and Raphael, along with Deacons Chris and Alexander, as all ten men step forward and say yes to the call of Christ. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.